Hello everyone. Um, somebody had asked me to do a quick video on installing GIMP Paint Studio, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, first of all, you'll need uh, to download uh, the brush presets and uh, everything that you need to install GIMP Paint Studio. Uh, basically, GIMP Paint Studio is just a collection of brushes and accompanying tool presets which this website right here which is uh, it's a Google code uh, website and uh, I will put the link in the description of the video uh, so basically you'll uh, use the link uh, in the in the description and you'll come to this uh, this link here and then you can go to the downloads page and I have no idea why my browser is going so slow uh, this time okay and you'll find uh, several downloads there and uh, let's see here you can and then you scroll down to Kemp uh, Paint Studio 2.0 and go ahead and download the zip I've already done that it's on my uh, desktop also wanted to uh, we'll uh, install that here in a little bit and then I wanted to tell you about uh, this link also for another brush kit uh, this is the brush kit chaos and evolutions uh, that you can get and install and it pretty much installs the same way as GIMP Paint Studio does uh, so let's go ahead and close up the browser here and here on my desktop I have uh, the zip file uh, for GPS 2.0 final and uh, I'm using 7-zip to unzip it and basically I like to uh, open the archive first um, and see what's in there and you can see in the zip file it's going to be brushes, dynamics, gradients, palettes, patterns, splashes and tool presets so what you'll need to do uh, to find where you need to unzip that is uh, just open up uh, your explorer and we'll go to drive C and then uh, users find your username course uh, it may be different for you but what you'll need to do is uh, locate your GIMP 2.8 folder and just open that up and then here's your brushes dynamics um, your patterns palettes and and every and tool presets and your splashes that's the same thing that was in the zip file so what you're going to want to do is unzip that here to your GIMP 2.8 folder and just go ahead and override overwrite uh, um, those files if it asks you to so basically let's go ahead and open up GIMP it shouldn't take that long to open and you can see uh, the chaos and evolution um, splash screen is is being used this time and uh, it switches back and forth automatically uh, between the uh, GPS splash screen and the other one. Um, also on that uh, the uh, website I just showed you there are some other uh, splash screens there that you can download for uh, it will say uh, for GIMP 2.6 or GIMP Paint Studio 1.5 which if you don't mind it saying that even though this is 2.0 then go ahead and install them if you want to uh, but I basically let's go ahead and open a new file and yeah, let's make a fairly large palette here and by the way um, this is a uh, theme that I've installed uh, in GIMP uh, it doesn't and if somebody wants I can do a video showing you how to install a, a different theme on Windows uh, of course if you're using Linux which I have a Linux operating system also 
uh, set up on an external hard drive so I don't need to install themes uh, but if you're on Windows you may want a uh, different theme so anyway basically uh, I've, I've chosen a brush here and then I can go scroll down under my uh, paint my tool options here and then I have a roll of uh, four icons there and uh, the second one uh, from the left you can just click that and then you can find all your uh, preset brushes uh, now if I uh, for GIMP Paint Studio and if I choose eraser then I can go back and uh, look through those uh, new presets that I have installed there and also for the smudge tool I got some really cool uh, smudge presets uh, matter of fact let's just I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the uh, clouds uh, brush let's go ahead and get that kind of a cloud color there just paint some clouds right quick uh, anyway that's the uh, clouds brush I believe that's one of them that uh, came in the GIMP paint studio and then I can just go ahead and change my color a little bit to maybe a gray and turn down the opacity a little bit there kinda give my cloud a little more definition maybe take the eraser and just uh, turn down the opacity on that and slightly erase there uh, and then maybe take my smudge tool and choose uh, ball smudge that one works pretty good just kind of smudge that anyway basically that's that's about it that's all I have time to to show you um, but that's GIMP Paint Studio and you can go ahead and explore uh, the rest of those brushes and uh, presets it's, uh, doggone it. I tend to do that sometimes anyway uh, that's GIMP Paint Studio and how to install it uh, there's some really other cool other brushes there so just go download it and uh, you may want to install the uh, chaos and evolutions brush kit also both those links will be in the video make sure you give this video a like and I'm sorry this was a short video I don't have much time so anyway have a great day